Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 12th through the 18th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Taurus, 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 Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Okay. The overall energy for the reading, the Six of Wands, a sense of achievement, a sense of success here on your side, um, a sense of Juno. As. Uh, in the recent past, the Ten of Cups, the Death card, the Seven of Wands, um, there was happiness here at some point, a lot of happiness. It ended, and I feel like it didn't want it to end, but it still ended. In the current situation, the Four of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Temperance card, there is sadness on your side, or disappointment, a tone of... Uh, trying to see if it's... We'll keep it at sadness. I can't call it unhappiness because it's not that, that. We'll just keep it at sadness here. Um, it's tied up to a soul connection here. This situation, this energy that's shown up on your side. And it's been attached to the situation for quite a while. Um, your sense of sadness. In the immediate future, the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, it's almost like hope um, is shown back up. Hope through a friendship, possibly, and a sense of emotional stability also tied up to this. Huh. Let's, um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Six of Wands. For the Six of Wands, you get the Nine of Wands, the Justice card, the Nine of Pentacles. There's something that would make you feel good about something, but you're not going for that something because you feel that the best thing to do would be to just mind your own business. <laughs> so, did you follow that? <laughs> I'm like, don't make me say it again because I hope you got it. So you feel good, positive about wanting to do something and then you stop yourself because um, you consider that the best thing for everyone involved would be for you to not do shit and just be on your own kind of a thing. I think I said the same thing. Anyway, hope you got it. Uh, if not the first time, the second time. If not the second time, go back to the first time. Maybe you'll get, I don't know, but hopefully you got it. Um, let's see the Ten of Cups in the recent past. Oh. Page of Wands, and I jumped here in the immediate future because I see this energy of hope that springing is coming from that past happiness that ended. Page of Wands, Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. Yeah. There was love here. There was someone brought in a lot of love. Someone moved on at some point, though. So this, ex this experience of happiness was definitely lived fully until someone possibly made another choice or just kind of moved on from it. I don't know if you, I don't know if them, I don't know if the both of you, I have no idea. Let's do the death card. Two of wands, the empress, the six of pentacles. There's that energy again. Is this you? Yeah. 
it's like that whole sense of um i think it's best for you to my decision no that's bullshit <laughs> never you don't think for others you know it, no i don't know if that's your energy by the way i have no idea it kind of falls on you but it could be them um that whole concept of i'll make a decision for others involved in a situation because i think it's best for everyone involved you can't think for others first of all uh second of all that's just kind of like an excuse you know to i don't know or a justification for your decision making process um mm, keeps on coming through the same kind of energy i think it's best for you that this ends right here there's a little bit of pause there almost kind of like Let, let's let's give it a breather but it actually ended kind of a thing because i think that's best for me and for you by the way okay let's do the seven of wands in the recent past oy, 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 oy. Oy, the world card the ace of pentacles the ten of swords yeah things ended things ended and there was a lot of but i don't want them to end behind this ending uh possibly on your side possibly on their side but they did kind of come to an end and all of that over there is shoving this energy in my face kind of like i got it it ended gotcha you know uh let's do the four of cups in the current situation Five of Swords, the Star, the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of deception around your desire. Um, a lot. There's a lot of sadness around that and a lot of deception around it. Because you're showing me I really, really want something, but it's so difficult that I'm not even going to go for it. Um, and it's not about the thing that you want it's about this energy doesn't say something about the thing that you want it says a lot about you a lot about your self-worth i really want something i'm not even going to go for it what does that say about you i don't deserve the things that i want dun, 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 dun. a lot of things about self-worth <coughs> Okay, baby boy. That's what you get for chewing on the carpet. Why are you? Hold up. What's got? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to whistle and I'm gonna have to mute this because my whistles are loud. He jumped. He got so obsessively into licking the carpet now that he kind of choked on the carpet. Man, I don't watch you for a second and that's what you do. I hope I don't forget to edit that because it's going to be so loud that you're not going to watch this video anymore. Um, I guess we'll see. Six of Cups. In the current situation, you get the Five of Wands, the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's a soul connection attached to you where things are just up and down, very conflicting. They don't look great. They don't look great. They look all over the place in, in all honesty. So I don't know what this is to you. It could be a friendship, could be someone you're working with even, but very rough energies around this one. And I feel like it's kind of been this way for a while. Let's do the temperance card. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> you've been trying through all of this, you've kind of been trying to, to take care of yourself as much as you can. There's a whole lot of overthinking in that aspect too that I feel like it kind of pre prevents you from going into this energy of self-love. 
and self-care um but that's it, it kind of looks like through all of this that's been your main goal to put yourself first to take care of yourself which is a great energy but i do see some difficulty in that let's do the page of wands in the uh immediate future the temperance card the devil the king of wands Somebody's losing patience here. I do feel that this energy is connected to the one from the past that ended. I got it. The past ended. Um, but it feels like a lack of patience, a lack of light. Like, let's say the energy for something to happen is uh, the, the, the timing of it is, let's say a year from now somebody's in that place of rushing it like it has to happen now or a month from now no 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 no, not a year from now nope mm -mm. nope so, so it, it almost feels like there's there's an increase in intensity a, a, a sense of anxiety in terms of i'm not gonna wait that long let's go let's go let's go so i don't know who carries this energy could be them but it could also be you. But it could also be the both of you. Um, let's do the Three of Pentacles in the immediate future. Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah. Three of Cups, yeah, it's definitely tied up to that energy there. Um, could be there could be an attempt to bring something back together but in the form of hey let's let's just hang out let's just be friends or something like that it's not eh, but it does have that hidden aspect to it of yeah but there's something more to this but it did mm. no it's coming in as even though it carries that energy it's coming in as almost like let's start fresh or let's try to start fresh kind of an energy uh something's breaking that energy of an ending from the past there something or someone let's do the nine of cups hmm. six of wands seven of wands two of swords uh you're starting to allow yourself remember how i started your reading with you feel like you want to do something but you're stopping yourself and then blah blah blah, blah. Um, you're starting to allow yourself more to to follow what you feel. Uh, you still have difficulty in this. There's still that almost, it's almost like a habit where you're like, no, I'm not going to allow myself to, to do something that makes me feel good. You know, it almost comes in like a, as a habit here for you. But there's definitely growth in that. So there's definitely a sense of, yeah, I'm going to start doing that more. I'm going to allow myself to to do what I feel is good for me, you know? Still coming in with a sense of overthinking though. So there's still work to be done there in terms of allowing yourself to feel what you feel. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Four of Wands, King of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah. There's definitely a, a a connection. I don't I don't see it here physically, in all honesty, but energetically, there's definitely someone you're connected to, and I feel like it's the same energy from the past that's showing up, tied up to your future. And there's a sense of commitment there, um, almost like it it doesn't even have to be a marriage, but it feels like something similar to that for the both of you here. There's love here. There's passion. There's all sorts of good things um, being shared energetically physically i don't see this connection at least in your current situation i don't see it here i see your own struggle with certain things anyways uh that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye